Hey guys and welcome back and if you're new glad to have you if you haven't yet make sure to drop a like and hit subscribe on today's video I'm going to be running you through the process of an applying an AMD CPU fix for Ryzen processors that will help boost your FPS in Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, so now first things first, we're going to go ahead and download the hex editor from Google. There should be a bunch of free ones. Hex editor Windows 10. We're going to download this one on the HXD. Let's see. What do we download it right here? Windows 10. Find the English one here. There we go. I already downloaded it before. I'm just showing you here. Downloads here. Control J, show and folder. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm just going to extract it. Go ahead and open that up. Run it. Get a pop up. Make sure to hit yes. And let's do the install. Should be just everything should be set at default. Next, accept. There it is. And let's get to launching this hex editor. And then now let's go find the, C the Cyberpunk EXE. Now that we got the hex editor installed, we're going to go ahead and locate our Cyberpunk 2077 EXE. Under this particular circumstance, I bought the game from GOG Gaming. So we're going to go to our program files. Find GOG Galaxy. You'll see a games folder. You'll see Cyberpunk 2077. Then there'll be a bin folder followed by an x64 folder, which we'll get to what we need to get, our cyberpunk2077.exe. First things first, just as a safety measure, it's a safety precaution, we're gonna go ahead and um, create a backup folder here, and we're gonna back up the SXE. So we're gonna copy it, we're gonna paste it here in case we do some irreparable damage to that EXE, which as long as we follow it step by step, we should be fine. Because you can actually drag it over here, you can drag the EXE to the hex editor. And in this particular case, we're going to use, we're going to look for this particular code and we're going to change it to this particular code here. We're going to change these two lines. I'll include it into, I'll include it in the, in the video description. That way you can copy it and paste it yourself. We're going to go ahead and click control F to hit fine. And we're going to find where it says hex values. You see this little tab here. We're going to click on that. And we're going to come over here and we're going to look for this particular line of code and we're going to paste it and then we're going to hit search all and there it is so now that we have that highlighted here we're going to go ahead and copy make sure we, it's exact we don't have no spaces before or after we're going to copy it bring it right back here and we're going to paste it and then we're going to go ahead and save it and that's it guys that's pretty much the fix there. I'll show you the graphs right now of the actual differences. As you can see here, guys, um, this first screenshot is before I made the edit to the EXE. We're at 39% CPU usage. And as you can see, after making the edit, and this is the exact same location. I reloaded the save and we're at 25%. Well, that's a lot. And in the game, I actually saw like a 10 to like 15% increase depending on the settings. But at the highest settings, I saw at least a 10 per, uh, at least a 10 frames per second increase. So that's pretty damn good. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. I hope this tutorial was of use to you and can help better optimize your experience for Cyberpunk 2077. Make sure to drop a like and hit subscribe. It will be very much appreciated. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.